once the dna it is immobilized on a solid spot then it can be analyzed or study by using a technique which is called as uh, southern blotting so southern blotting it is a laboratory method that is used to uh, detect the dna fragment among a mixture of dna uh, molecules as i told you earlier that this technique was developed by uh, edward southern in 1975 so that's why the name of the technique it is after uh, uh, its inventor so that's why it is called as southern blotting uh, to perform southern blotting uh, gel pretreatment pre is required gel pretreatment q required hoti hai when uh, uh, dna fragment has been uh, separated to iski reason ye hai ki jab uh, for example koi uh, genomic dna ka source hai and it has been digested by using restriction enzymes to kuch fragments bade size ki honge kuch chote size ki honge and if they have been separated on the gel to kuch fragments jo hain uh, wo slowly move karenge large size ki wajah se aur kuch rapidly move karenge smaller size ki wajah se so uh, before immobilization on the solid spot to iski pre treatment ki jati hai like deep urination ki jati hai jahan jahan purine bases hain uh, unko remove kiya jata hai uh, by the treatment with uh, hcl uh, or even alkali like uh, sodium hydroxide can be used to jahan jahan प्यूरिन बेस होगी वहाँ वहाँ वो रिमूव होगी और डीएनए का जो डीएनए की जो लेंथ है वो शॉर्ट हो जाएगी और एट द सेम टाइम एल्कली जो है वो डीएनए को डी भी करेगी डी नेचुरेशन मीन्स दैट द डीएनए विल बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड इन सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म नाउ दे आर रेडी फॉर हाइब्रिडाइजेशन प्रोसेस बाई यूजिंग रेडियो लेबल्ड प्रोप after transferring to the nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane then fixation process it is carried out fixation means that uh, uh, the dna it is strongly uh, binded with the uh, membrane and it is fixed so that it will not move uh, after uh, repeating washing and Uh, although different techniques can be used but uh, uh, baking it is the most commonly used technique once it is immobilized then the nitrocellulose membrane with bounded nucleic acid uh, it will be placed in a solution of probes and if complementarity it is there between the bounded nucleic acid and the probe then they will hybridize when they will hybridize then the hybridization process it can be visualized by auto radiography as i explained earlier so this is the flow diagram of southern blotting here in first step the dna fragments they are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis and once they are separated then they are transferred on the membrane either nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane and then they are fixed after fixation then the nitrocellulose membrane it can be placed in a solution of radio labeled probe here in the third step and where the complementarity it is there that if it is probe having the complementary sequence to the target dna then a base pairing it is there and then at this step we wash the membrane so that the extra or unlabeled radioactivity will be removed and in the fourth step the membrane can be analyzed by auto radiography by using x ray film so this is an other diagram indicating the process of southern blot hybridization so here it is the source dna and then it is restricted by using uh, restriction enzymes so that the different fragments are there and then they are separated by gel electrophoresis here and after separation here the gel pre treatment it is required as i mentioned deep urination treatment because after restriction analysis different type of fragments they may be generated that will be separated on the gel and then it will be transferred on the membrane in the next step so this is the membrane nitrocellulose membrane where the dna will be transferred and then it will be hybridized by using 
probe and then final analysis by using auto radiography in this fourth step.